I want to talk about amateur boxing, the amateur boxing setup with with England and what what what's going on with it at the moment and things like that. Point I want to make is that a lot of people keep saying to me, "Yeah, you've got to give these people respect in the in the England amateur boxing and things like that." And I, and I said, "Well, well, why? Why do I have to give these people respect? Well, they're giving the time up." Yeah, I do. I give the trainers respect because they don't take a penny. And but this particular person, and you know who you are, you know, you know, right? This guy, right? And he, he was very vocal when I gave his opportunity. He didn't want to come on Zoom. He wanted to say say his bit on a withheld number. This is what you're up against. He said his bit, and I said, "Well, look, what about the people that are judges and referees?" and the door security they all want pain don't they and these amateur shows but what about the trainers that put the time in they're the heroes the trainers that go to these gyms three times a week and you know six o'clock while eight o'clock or half five while half seven that they're putting six hours in every week and then you've got travel on top of that these people don't take a penny not a sausage out of pot but yeah, you've got these judges who stroll in six and eight times a year and sit down and they get a nice bit of spread on, sandwiches, sausage rolls and coffee and tea and they're all cracking jokes and all this and that. It's all very well, but you people are taking out at sport and I don't agree with that. I don't agree with these referees that are taking out at game. Uh, I don't agree with it at all. They just turn up and just to go at home side, don't they? And look, we know what goes on, don't we? Judges as well. I don't agree with it. I ain't got nothing personally against these people or these door staff that take money. But these amateur clubs, they're all running on tight shoestrings anyway. So don't talk to me about giving back when you're taking. Take, 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 take. It's got to stop. There's people that will do it for free. So I'm calling on England Boxing to say that these people shouldn't be paid. They don't want paying. They've all got good jobs. They've all got good jobs. And they're just trying to pick up extra money out, out, out at sport. But making out that, yeah, we love sport and all this. Don't give me that any of that rubbish. You do it to take money. Now, if these people don't take anything out of these shows that get put on these gyms can have better facilities and things like that and can put better shows on and stuff like that get better equipment and can do repairs to the gyms and things like that i just think that it all needs to stop all this gimme culture and people with and out I, I don't agree with it there's too many people with the noses in the trough in boxing and it has to start from the bottom all the way to the top and I'm hoping to change that by just calling people out on the on the crap that they come out with and these people that it's the same old people in it for years and years and years it's a bit like boxing board of control it's an old boys club there's no new members coming is there show me some new members that are coming to boxing board of control there's no new referees there's no new judges it's the same old merry-go-round that, uh, you know, you, and we know who they are, don't we? Then you've got the old boys at the top. We know who they are, don't we? None of them work, do they? They've all got the noses in the trough. It needs ripping up and starting again. It needs Donald Trump. That's what it needs, to come over and just rip, rip shit up, Snoop Doggy style and Dr. Dre. It wants ripping up and starting again from the very beginning. The board have got to go. Look at all the money that they've made f over the years off, off a box in the board. Well, I look at it like this. Consider it a severance pay. Take the train. Get out of Dodge. It needs ripping up from top to bottom, bottom to top, from England amateur setup to this load of crap up here at EIS. What is all this up here? McCracken's on thousands up there. They've got Alt Matchroom clan up there, aren't they? And Alt Joshua managed fighters, all making use of all great facilities up there, aren't they? Hey, what's all that about? You know, nobody do, nobody's doing a thing, are they? Nobody, it's a conveyor belt up there for a matchroom. From the bottom to the top, it, I'm not saying it's corrupt, but it's... 
It's all easy to manipulate, isn't it? And nobody's saying a word, are they? You know, well, there, people do say a word. I'm not going to say any names, but there's people who do tell me things, or they tell other people I know, but they don't want to rock the boat, do they? Because they all want to get in on, in on act, don't they? They all want to get the nose of the trough, don't they? They're like pigs looking for truffles, aren't they? A lot of them, aren't they? It's got to stop. It's got. It's not. We're not on level playing fields, are we now? I've just looked at. So much shows that have gone on at weekend, and it, it, it's 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 good. The the products now watered down, isn't it? It's watered down. It, it, I've I've got all statistics there that will blow your mind off. Somebody showed me how to work them all the other day, and it's mind blowing what's going on, right? But <laughs> it's got to stop, and it's got to start with England amateur boxing. Who are the head people at England amateur boxing, and what are they doing for the sport when? When there's people willing to be judges and willing to be refs and willing to be MCs and there's people willing to do door security and they're willing to do it for free. For free. Right? The kids don't get paid on amateur shows. They do it for free. The trainers do it for free. So why, why do these people just stroll in to these shows and don't have anything else to do with boxing they just stroll in some of them have something to do with boxing the odd odd ones they, they, they're, they're trainers as well as MCs and things like that so they get a pass but these judges and these referees in England amateur boxing who just stroll up on the night take, do a bit of ref and a bit of judging take the money at end at night and go don't come and sit near me at shows in future because I don't want to talk to you. I want to see you hand your money into the pot at the end of the show. Then you can come in my company. Until then, fuck off. That's how I feel about it. Fuck off. Just like Border Control. Fuck off. It's an old boys club. It's the same old people with the same old noses in the trough. And it's been going on for far too long. It's an old boys club. It's a cult. He needs stopping. When I was a kid and I used to watch boxing, it was the same people then as it is now. They're just getting older and older and older and decrepit. And the judges are getting blinder and blinder and blinder. No one's doing a thing about it. The EIS up here has been going 10 years now. 10 years since since McCracken got up there. 10 years. And it's, ma it's matchroom dominated up there. None of them other kids who are, who are waiting to turn over dare turn over because they all want to go to Matchroom. But if the if if the if the shop's full at Matchroom, if the stable if the stable's full, they'll wait for an opening. So they'll just sit up there milking it. That's what's going on up there. Now, if there were other promoters and and, and it were a fair, it were all fair, they'd be able to sign them, wouldn't they? But they all want to. Get, all roads lead to Sky. And this is a knock-on effect that's been going on since 2010. And I told you all on Twitter in 2012 what was going to happen after at London Games. And everybody went, talking, talking rubbish. Am I talking rubbish now? You're now seeing a watered-down product. I warned you all about it after London Games. I saw what happened at the London Games with Joshua. He had four fights. He only beat the Chinaman. And he was useless. The other three were gifts. It's been going on far too long. It all wants busting up from 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 bottom to top, from from England amateur setup all the way up to pros. It needs reform. I'm calling for reform. And all people in boxing industry, trainers around here, and managers and promoters and in leads and all that, they all know I'm telling the truth, but they're not going to come out and say a dicky bird, are they? They're not going to say a dicky bird. I know a promoter in Doncaster, he's like, oh, he agrees with me and I don't even like him. But they're not going to say a word, are they? Shithouses, the lot of them. Shithouses. These people have all got jobs, but they've still, <laughs> they've still got their noses in the trough, haven't they? Taking out of the sport that I love. It's doing my head in. I'm just seeing it for what it is now. Do you know what? Somebody warned me about this age. I was going to go, nah, 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 it's great, it's cool. Thought it were all a bit fucking fantastic and glamorous at the beginning. But once you scratch the surface, none of them can what? <laughs> none of these people can go out and get a few quid, can they? We are having to punts. That's what they are. Punters. 
poncers, a lot of them poncers. If anybody's got a problem, they could come on my channel and 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 say what they think. I'm saying you're all poncers, all you tech out at sport poncers. Even teching out at shows with ten year old kids, judges and refs turning up, wanting paying on night, but yet trainers don't get paid, and they've got kids every week training them for free. Hey, eh? what's going on here? What 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 are we involved with here? What's going on? All right. So this is my opinion on it. I'm calling for reform from England amateur boxing all the way up to boxing border control because it stinks, doesn't it? What's going on? And do you know what? Do you know when you get shit on the bottom of your shoe? You know what you do? You've got to get rid of it, haven't you? Because you know what? Shit leaves stains. Not have nightmares.